Hello everyone and welcome back to American Textbook Reading. My name is Brian Stewart and in this lesson we're taking a look at Social Studies Book 4, Lesson 11. And Lesson 11 is about making money choices. So in this unit you will discover how to make plans to spend money and the difference between needs and wants. So an important lesson. Let's get started. The first word in our vocabulary section is plan. It's very important to plan ahead, to make a plan. To plan, in this case, you can use it as a verb, by the way. It's more commonly used as a verb, but it can also be a noun for formal situations. Plan means to think about and decide what you will do. So let's plan something for the weekend. Let's plan for our future. Do you have any plans for tomorrow? Okay, that's, that's a noun. Uh, but to plan means just to think about ahead of time and to make decisions before uh, the events occur so that you have a good idea and you can kind of control the future that way. That's the whole idea behind uh, planning for the future. Predict. Predict is to think about what will or might happen in the future. So you predict. You think about, it's very easy to predict things that are going to happen tomorrow or next week. It's more difficult to predict things that will happen next year. Of course, we can plan for these things and that's what we should do. We should think, okay, what's going to happen tomorrow? I have a test, right? So, can I predict, will I do well on the test or am I going to do poorly on the test? So plan ahead. Study. <laughs> study today. Study uh, tonight and in the morning tomorrow and then you will be prepared for the test tomorrow. So you can predict what will happen in the future. Of course, we can't predict 100%, right? But we can plan ahead and we can uh, think about what will happen. Next, we have give up. Now, give up is actually a good skill to have. Sometimes you have to give things up. You have to make good choices. You may want something or you might like to do something, but it might be bad for you or it might be a bad choice. So to give up means to stop doing something. The example here, of course, is we have junk food and we have healthy food. If you like to eat a lot of junk food, at some point you're going to have to say, okay, I, I have to give up the junk food. Stop eating junk food. That's to give it up and eat the healthier food. Bananas, apples, oranges. Of course, pancakes, donuts, pastries are good to eat, but not too much. Right? So give it up maybe a little bit, but don't eat it all the time. Next. Shopper. Next we have shopper. A shopper is a person. ER. We form nouns with ER to talk about people who do things, right? People who shop are called shoppers. So if you have a verb, which is to shop, to go to the store and buy something, and you make it into a noun that describes a person who does this, just add ER. Shopper, of course, is a person who buys things from a shop. We are all shoppers at some time in our lives. Choice. Choice is to make a decision about do I want this or do I want that? So you have to make a decision. Which one will you buy? Which one will you eat? Which one will you use? Choosing one thing from among other things. And it's, of course, it's not just two things. That's a simple example. Sometimes it could be, you know, 10, 20 different things. You go into a supermarket, there's 20 different brands of milk. <sighs> Which one do I buy? You have to make a decision to choose one. Okay. Scarce. Scarce means there's not enough of something or it's rare. Rare means it, it's not, there's not a lot of something. Uh, for example, gold. There's not a lot of gold. You can't just go outside and find gold in the ground. Gold is very rare. It is scarce. That's one of the reasons why it is so valuable. 
val valuable. <laughs> what am I saying? Valuable. Uh, scarce. Also, money, unfortunately, is sometimes scarce, right? Uh, we have to earn it and be careful about spending it. Otherwise, as you can see, this person, <laughs> there's no money left, just two pennies. So money is scarce for this person. Figure out. Are you good at figuring things out? I'm sure you are. Figure out means to be able to understand something. So if you're reading a book, maybe it's a book about math or science or something like that, and you read it and you understand it, you know, you may have to read it a couple times, but then, ah, I understand it. You figured it out, right? It might be a puzzle. It might be difficult to understand at first, but if you read it a few times, if you listen to the explanation given by the teacher, or you go on the internet and you read more about it, you say, ah, okay, I understand now. I figured it out. Put aside. Put aside means to save something for later. And this is a good example, right? This person has some money. Now, they could spend that money now. Hey, let's go out to the movies. Let's buy some popcorn. Let's buy some junk food. Let's buy a new uh, bike or a new toy that, uh, or a new game that I want to play. You could spend that money now or you could put it aside for the future, right? It says now is here and the future is later, right? So you put it aside. You save it for later, okay? Those are our words for the vocabulary section. Now let's talk about the first main idea. And the main idea is about money planning and making money choices. It's kind of like... Uh, this main idea is about managing your money. And it says making money choices, but we can also say managing your money. Because, of course, you know we need to have money to live in our society. If you want something, you have to buy it. But you have to make smart choices about what you buy. You have to manage your money well. So money planning it's important to plan how you will spend your money. You need to, of course, plan carefully. Now, many people will make a budget. We didn't have that word, but that's an important word for this unit. A budget is basically a plan to spend money. And your mom and dad will have a very detailed budget, or they have a very important budget because they know how much money they're earning, but they also know how much money they need to spend for a rent, for uh, uh, services like electricity, water, gas, how much money they need to spend on food, how much money on gas for the car. So when you set aside and you plan to spend the money on these different categories, that is a plan that is called a budget. So plan carefully, make a budget. Figure out how to use money, right? When you make your budget, you have to make decisions. Okay, how much money am I going to spend on gas? How much money am I going to spend on food? You might have money that is left over, some extra money. You need to figure out how to use it. Now, when you choose, you, when you make, make a choice, choice is a noun, choose is a verb, right? Choice, so you make a choice. What is your choice? Choose well. So the difference between choice, noun, choose is a verb. So, you make a money choice. Now, you have needs. Like I said, you have to buy food to eat. You have to pay for rent for your house. You have to pay the electricity bill, the water bill, so you get these things at your house. Those are the things that you need to live your life. Now, some things are wants. They're things you don't really need, but you want to have. And of course, we know what those are, right? <laughs> those are things like, hey, the kid's like, hey, I want, that, uh, I want that new toy. I want that stuffed animal. He wants it, but does he need it? No, he doesn't need it, but it would be nice to have. And, you know, maybe if there's enough money, sure, he can get it as a present. Or if he does chores around the house, maybe mom says, okay, you earned it. You can have it. So there's a difference between needs, things you need to live, uh, things you need to buy to live your life, and things that you don't really need, but it would be nice to have. And maybe you have a desire to own that, to play with it, to use it for entertainment. That is a want. So needs and wants. It's an important difference.
So, and this is kind of covered in these statements down here. First statement, we cannot have everything we want, right? We can't go to the store and buy all the stuffed animals or all the toys or all the games. We don't have enough money. So, we need to make choices. Make a choice. When we make choices, we have to think about how much money we have. We have to think about our needs and wants. If we have to spend money for our needs, we have to spend money for needs. Make sure you, you buy what you need, that you have enough money for that, but you don't have enough money to buy everything you want, then you will have to give up something, right? You say, okay, well, maybe I don't need it, so I won't buy it, I will give it up. Of course, you didn't really have it in the first place, but you give up your desire, you give up your wants, okay? So, you have to make these decisions, that's part of life. Our next main idea, again, we're talking about needs and wants in more detail. So, as I said before, needs are the things that you need to live. Wants are things that would be nice to have, right? That, that satisfy a desire or uh, something that you want to do. So, what are some more examples of needs? Needs are things we must have to live. You need clothes. Well, you don't need clothing to live, but if you don't have clothing, you're going to have a very difficult time in society, okay? So you need clothing. Of course, you need shelter for protection from the weather and the elements. You need food. You have to be able to eat. And water. You need to be able to drink and take a shower. Uh, those are needs, okay? Those are things you need to live in society. You need them. You can't decide to go without them. You absolutely need them. Now, wants are things we want to have. We don't need these things to live, right? You don't need a stuffed animal to live. You could go through life without a stuffed animal. You don't need ice skates to live. Sure, they're fun and they're good exercise, but you don't need them. But maybe you want to go ice skating. And this is a cell phone. Now, you don't, I hate to tell you, but you don't need a cell phone to live. Of course, everybody has one, and many people will, will argue with me, no, I need my cell phone, okay? So, yeah, but you don't actually really need it to live. Of course, it makes life easier, and it is important to have for emergency situations and staying in touch with your family members or your friends, but you don't really need it. It is more of a want, okay? So, these are needs and wants. Okay, let's go over the reading section together. As usual, I will read it out loud. You guys repeat after me or just repeat in your brain and think about the pronunciation of the words and also focus on the vocabulary that we studied. Are you guys ready? Let's begin. When we think about what we need to buy, we have to plan carefully. Each month, we should think about the money we have. We can figure out how to use money for our needs and wants. Needs are things we must have to live. Clothing, shelter, food, and water are needs. Wants are things we want to have. We can predict how much money we will need for groceries, and other needs. And we can put aside some money for savings. Sometimes we should give up what we want. A good shopper will make smart choices so they can buy the best food at the lowest price. Money is sometimes scarce, but it is the job of every shopper to think carefully about what they are going to buy. Okay? How is the information in this reading passage organized? Here we have main idea and details to support that main idea. So the main idea, again, main ideas are usually general, they're more vague, they're not very specific, they're just a general statement. And the general statement here is, we have to beep carefully when we think 
about what to buy. And we talked about this, I talked about this quite often, and also the reading passage mentioned this, that we have to, you know, when you make a budget, what are you doing? When you make a budget, you are planning, right? You're planning how to spend your money. So we have to plan carefully when we think about what to buy. Remember, a budget is a plan to spend money. So we have to plan carefully when we think about what to buy. We can figure out how to use money for our beep and want. So we talked about this. I talked about this quite often, right? We have wants, what we want to buy, but we also have the things that we absolutely have to have in order to live. And those things, of course, are needs. So we can think about needs and wants. Needs, what do we have to have? Wants, what would be nice to have, but we don't really need it. Okay, next we can beep how much money will be needed. So remember, when we talked about thinking about the future, right? We know, okay, the gas bill every month is maybe $200. So next month it's going to be $200. We can think in the future and we can guess. We can make a very good guess because of our past experience. And that, of course, means that we can predict. Predict. We can predict how much money will be needed. So we're going to need $200 for gas next month. Don't spend that money, all right? Save it for the gas bill next money. So we can beep some money for savings. So it's important. This is a very important concept, a very important idea. You know, you have to buy things that you need. Like I said, the gas, you need to pay for water, you need to pay for food, uh, you need to pay for clothing. Uh, but after you spend money for all those things, hopefully you have some money left. What do you do with it? It's a good idea to put it aside. In this case, we can put aside, we can put aside some money for savings. By the way, put aside is like a separable verb. You could also say put money aside. So you can separate the two parts of the verb with the, the, the object, the noun that you're talking about. Put money aside or put aside money, either way. In this case, we can put aside some money for savings. That's an important idea, right? You want to save money for the future. You might have needs in the future that you didn't predict. And because we want to put aside some money for the future, sometimes we should beep what we want. So we want it, but we say, no, I want to save money. I want to put it aside. So I'm going to give up, give up what we want. Okay. And again, give up is another verb like this. You can say, give the toy <laughs> up or just give it up. We could also do that. So give up what we want. We can give what we want up. But it's better to say give up what we want. Keep it together in that case. Okay, so this is an important lesson. It's an important lesson for your life, obviously, to think about how to manage money. Now, you may not have a lot of money right now, but maybe your mom gives you some money for allowance. We, we talk about, we didn't have that word, but in your case, this is an important word, allowance is the money that your parents give you every week, every two weeks, or maybe every month. Hopefully they give it to you because you do work around the house, right? You clean up, you get good grades. So your parents might give you some money. We call that allowance. Manage that money well. What do you need? What do you want? Now there are some things maybe you want that you could spend your money on, but think about your future. Maybe there's something in the future that you want more, it's more expensive. Save your money for that situation. When you get older, you get a job, you're making income. We talked about that in the last lesson. You have to manage your money well. So be careful. Start thinking about how to manage money now. Make that a skill, right? Be good at it <laughs> because it's a very important thing for your life. Okay. Well, I hope you learned a lot of good words in this lesson and some good ideas. Thanks for studying with me, as always, and we'll see you in the next video lesson, I hope. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.